okay. Back at it again. Oh. Okay. What are we waiting for? Oh. No. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're, We're talking, talking again. Baby steps. baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than that. Ah, <sighs> he's right. Uh, we crack a time. Excuse me, pardon me. Better start right out. Let us down, You didn't even punch me. The other guy shot. What you doing, buddy? <sighs> buddy, you pal. What you <sighs> doing there? You just said that. Oh, wait. Those lunatics will kill someone driving like that. Spider-Man car tour of New York. I 
think it's all good. Prepare to stand down. Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drug. Texted Yuri to pick these guys up. boy that's gonna like it if we get full luck on how does it work just like a natural arm you think of what you want it to do and Yes. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? Thank it's you, Mr. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have been long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks Hello. will escort you to <coughs> Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Oh. Harry, ask him to talk Who's to his dad. Help? Norman never Who's listens to help? Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Oh hey, my gosh. one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, no. if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. 
I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I gotta look for stuff for him now, too? Oh, never going over here. Never. Um. There's a bridge. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch. I just started a mission. The oh, what's the word? Contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me. I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots. Like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. We got this Spider-Man, thanks anyway. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there.
I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars. And a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? 